Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Lincoln and Salina, Kansas, your source for Lincoln news update and information with a video on the 2023 Lincoln Corsair. We're going to do what we call our complete guide video where we cover all the standard equipment plus the different packages and standalone options available for the Grand Touring trim of the 2023 Lincoln Corsair. So this, uh, uh, if you like videos like this, like to stay updated on things, you might like our YouTube channel. So hit the red subscribe button down below, hit that notification bell. So that way you can be notified the next time we have another video uploaded to the YouTube channel. Uh, so as you can see, we are gonna cover all the standard equipment, uh, a couple of different collections to choose from there with different uh, uh, features in included, as well as a different a couple packages and standalone options all in this video. So be very lengthy video. So use the timestamps down below to move around in the video, get the information you're looking for, and maybe even fast forward or go back and revisit any sections by using those timestamps down below. Now, hopefully you, uh, you can uh, right now order the Lincoln Corsair, uh, even the Grand Touring Edition. Uh, right now, order banks are open up. So if you want to take orders for one of those, you work through your uh, local Lincoln dealership. If you're struggling to find one, uh, Law MacArthur Lincoln is taking those orders. So feel free to uh, reach out to us if you want to. We do have a special YouTube offer for you. We'll talk about that dur during the conclusion of the video. There's a timestamp down below for that as well. So let's go ahead and dive in, talk about some of these mechanical features that are included in the Grand Touring trim of the 2023 Lincoln Corsair. Now we are going to use Lincoln's website to kind of go through this and show this. So if you go to lincoln.com over here, then you can go to, uh, if you go to vehicles, you can go down to the Corsair and you, you can explore, learn more about it, or you can actually just go right in and dive in and build your own here. So we had, have done a video on the standard trim as well as on the reserve. And now we're gonna talk about the Grand Touring. Starts at 53,385 here. And uh, it is a plug-in hybrid. It kind of highlights that right here. And if you go down here, you can see start your build. We're gonna click on that right there and then jump in. And now we're gonna start with the mechanical features. And so in doing this, we're gonna go to the powertrain over here because the Grand Touring is pretty much that, that this is your plug-in hybrid version. Uh, so, and I think plug-in hybrid is actually the best of all worlds uh, because it allows you to go in an all electric mode if you need to at any time uh, by being able to go in all electric mode or you can have the, the hybrid version and you're using some gas. So if you need to go out of town, this is a perfect vehicle for that. So you can go in that mode. So it's gonna come standard with the 2.5 liter, the Atkins four cylinder uh, Grand Touring plug-in hybrid engine for you. It's gonna, you'll notice it does have the eCBT automatic transmission with select shift capabilities to be able to go. If you wanna go in that select shift mode, you can shift it up and down like a manual transmission. It'll also come standard in all wheel drive. So we do not have a front wheel drive version of this because of the amount of torque you're gonna to have with this engine and transmission uh, combination. You need that all wheel drive because of that, that drive, the drivetrain and the, the power that you're gonna have behind this motor setup here. So I like this. Uh, also will come with the neutral towing capability for this. So this is a vehicle will allow you to be able neutral tow behind a motorhome or something like that if you want to also you're going to have a pedestrian alert sounder as well because it's so quiet when you're backing up people won't be able to hear you so it's going to have an alert sounder for pedestrians so they know that you're backing the vehicle up also you will have lincoln drive modes even with this as well to get the the shifting as well as the the torque and different feel of the vehicle and how much torque it gives you it can be adjusted based on the different drive modes and the availability with their all-wheel drive system as well in those types of situations where you're going off-road deep snow and that kind of thing to be able to shift it into those different drive modes for different dynamics and, and feel of the of the vehicle uh, which is really awesome we'll have electric power assist steering as well uh, so slower speeds a lot easier to turn that steering wheel into those parking spaces uh, highway it stiffens that up also does have active noise control to make it quieter in the cabin as well you will have adaptive suspension standard equipment for this trim uh, unlike some of the other trims uh, where that's uh, you have to go up to other different collections for that this in here it's going to be standard equipment for the vehicle traction control is also standard equipment as well as electric parking brake with the auto hold feature which means that if you want to hold that brake you can use the auto hold and it'll hold the brake for you with and allowing you to take your foot off the brake hill start assist as well if you're on a hill allows you to start up with it drift without it drifting back and you have torque vectoring control as well standard equipment with this too uh, allowing you to defer that control when you hit that the gas and you get going there so some great features here now also has some great safety features too so let's uh go, go ahead and go into the next section of the video which is talking about some of the safety features that are standard on this trim so now we're going to talk about some safety features that are uh, that are standard on the Corsair, and we see find these a lot of these on a lot of vehicles, but there are some, several 
that we don't see on other vehicles because this is being a luxury vehicle this and will uh, go above and beyond that so first off let's talk about the airbags for the driver and front passenger you're going to have a dual stage front airbag deploys a different size airbag depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle whether it be the driver or the front passenger there's a sensor underneath the seat that tells them where it's located in there also, we do have the driver knee airbag. So on the uh, underneath the steering column, that'll deploy down if there's a front collision to help protect the front, uh, the driver from that 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 steering wheel getting coming down into their knees. Also, for the front passenger, we have a glove box door integrated knee airbag as well that'll deploy down and protect those on the front over there on the on the um, passenger side. Also, for the driver and front passenger, you're going to have a front row side seat impact airbag deploys from the side of the seat, protect them from that side collision, hitting that A and B pillar of the vehicle. Also have side curtain uh, safety canopy airbags with rollover sensors. So they're gonna pull down from the roof and help protect it. If there's a, a rollover, a sense a rollover, it's gonna pull those down before any glass or a body breaks into the vehicle. So that way it doesn't come into the vehicle uh, hurting anyone in the front or the rear seat back there. Also, we do have advanced track with roll stability control. The whole goal behind this is to keep you on your intended path. Use a series of brakes around the vehicle to help you keep you going. If it's maybe going to that curve too fast, maybe it's slick out, that kind of thing, it's going to help with that. You also do get evasive steering assist with this vehicle. So if you can't stop in time to uh, for be able to stop and to hit the vehicle in front of you and you need to go around them, uh, then it's and it kind of veer off of them, then it'll assist in that steering of the vehicle. So real nice in how that works. Also, SOS post crash alert system that if you're in an accident, honks the horns, flashes lights. If you're in an accident, lets people know that they need to come to your safety, especially it's uh, for that situation where you're unconscious and such like that. It does have pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking. So it does have pedestrian detection on the vehicle as well as a front collision warning. So if it senses that you're going too fast, you might hit that person, you might hit the car in front of you uh, because they're, they're, you're going faster than they are, um, then it's going to alert you and let you know that. It's going to use the uh, series of lights on the dash as well as tone that you need to stop. And it preloads in uh, that brake for the dynamic brake support to stop the vehicle if it needs to. Also, it does have post-collision braking too. So if you do get in an accident and maybe you're unconscious, you don't put it in drive, it's going to brake the vehicle so you don't have a more severe accident. And you get intersection assist, which is a new technology within the last couple of years. So if you're going to go across the intersection and you have your turn signal on, you're going to cross that. It's going to know that you have that person is coming across and it's going to alert you and break the vehicle so you don't hit them in the intersection so that's real nice new features to have you do also get 911 assist that allows you to call 911 directly if you have that bluetooth enabled phone connected you also do have lane keeping system so it's going to give you the driver alert feature that if you're taking your hands off the steering wheel too often it's going to alert alert you and let you know that also you have the lane keeping aid system and alert system so if you're going to leave your lane it's uh, that the alert system will actually let you leave your lane but it'll vibrate the stream and let, let you know you've left your lane or you have the aid system which goes over the line and brings you back and keeps you within your lane and it also does have road edge detection as well so if you're in that lane where there is a drop off and such it's gonna let you know that and uh, that that's there that's a newer technology for this year and a real nice safety feature there also you do have security lock passive and theft system that just means that only the coded key can actually start the vehicle which is nice when you lock when you take that uh, you shut the vehicle off it's gonna automatically lock that steering column so it cannot be started unless that coded key is in the vehicle also you do have perimeter alarm that's going to help protect it around the vehicle so anybody bumps into it you know it, it shakes and such it's going to set the alarm off but also does have intrusion and inclination sensors so if someone's like going to try to take the wheels and they jack up the front or the back it's going to uh set that off and let the honk the horns flash the lights so that people know they're trying to take the wheels so when breaks the glass tries to get inside and unlock it it has an intrusion sensor so if it senses that somebody's inside the vehicle it's going to do the same thing honk the horns and flash the lights on the vehicles so that's all our safety features that are included on the uh, Lincoln Corsair. Let's go ahead and move around and talk about some of the exterior uh, features on the vehicle too. So now we're going to start by, when we talk about the exterior features, we're going to start with the colors available. Um, so we do have the infinite black that's available. We also do have the ceramic pearl, which is, and that is an extra cost color. It's 750 for that. I don't know if it's a three coats of paint or if it's a tri or some sort of clear coat. Pristine white. Also cost a little extra there, and I think that is a clear coat they put on that one. A silver radiance. We do have the red carpet, which is a clear coat they put on that, a tinted clear coat on that color. 
Asher Gray. I believe that is actually an extra coat of paint. Why it's $750 for that. And then we do also have down here, we have the Whisper Blue that's available. And we have Crystal Red that is also available. And we'll use that Crystal Red for this one here uh, for this video. So we're going to click on this here so we can get a little bit closer images of this. But those are the colors that are available uh, for the exterior. Now we do have, now the grill, as you notice, the design there. So that is the same uh, similar design grill that we do see on the um, the reserve, if you did see that. So a nice finish. It does have kind of a black uh, finish to it behind there. And then the chrome accents on those different, those are all little Lincoln symbols on the front of that. And you'll notice the Lincoln star up here is going to have blue in there, kind of to, to denote that it's kind of an EV vehicle. Uh, so um, so plug-in hybrid, a plug-in hybrid, it's going to have that blue accent right there, which is really cool. Uh, there you can also see on that the the bumper as well here a nice silver accent across there uh, body colored bumper uh, that's this part here you can see where that breaks is uh, that bumper is going to be body colored here uh, so a real nice black accent down here on the lower part of the bumper as well and you're going to also have the i believe that's down there that's going to be body colored down along there as well on the bottom part of that so real nice and how that finish looks um, so, as well um, you, actually, it's pillar black is what it's saying here with the chrome accent there. So pillar black down there on the bottom uh, as well as right through here. So pretty nice in how that looks. And there's one little stripe that comes across there in between that. And that is going to be body colored through there. So pretty cool in how that looks. Active grill shutter as well. It's going to open and close when it needs to let air flow in to help that engine perform in its peak. Also, you will have a front license plate bracket for states that require a front license plate. That'll be standard equipment. States that do not require a front license plate it is optional equipment. We'll talk about that when we get to optional equipment. Now, for the lighting, we'll have daytime running lights uh, that can be configured to be on uh, if you want to. Uh, that is something you can turn on and off in the lighting section of your vehicle settings screen. Also, your headlights are automatic feature for your headlights. It means uh, if you haven't one of the, the auto setting for your headlight switch, look on automatically when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light. Jewel. LED headlights, so very dynamic uh, bending headlights as well, which means it's going to light up your intended path. So if you turn that steering wheel, it's going to turn the lights to light up your intended path, which is what I like. Speed dependent lighting as well, which means that it's going to light up brighter if there's no one in front of you. Uh, faster you go, it's going to light up further out uh, on the there's so the very... Uh, very cool and how that all works. Also, Lincoln Signature Lighting as well that lights up underneath that. So you're going to have the Lincoln Signature Lighting too. So that's pretty cool. Auto high beams as well. They'll come on. Uh, if it's real dark outside. If there's no one approaching you. It's going to light up the auto high beam. Somebody approaches you in the city lights. It's going to turn those off. That is also setting. You can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your vehicle setting screen. It does have the acoustic laminated windshield, which means it's going to be a little bit quieter for you while you're driving. But also, because it has a piece of plastic in between, it'll help keep that together. If something comes into the windshield, it kind of helps protect you as well. So it doesn't shatter the windshield, kind of keeps it together so that that way you don't get hurt. Also, you have the Lincoln Embrace. So with the Lincoln Embrace, you're going to have the Lincoln Approach Detection. So it detects when you're getting close to the vehicle. And it's going to use a series of lights in the vehicle. Door handles are going to light up. You're going to also have signature lighting here on the front that's going to light up as well. The welcome mat lights up beside the vehicle. The LED tail lights light up as well with fade on and off. Even in the rear of the vehicle, uh, there's going to be signature lighting on the back that will light up as well and give you a fade on back there too. So real cool. No matter if you're approaching from the front side or the rear, it's going to light up for you and really embrace you as you approach the vehicle. Now the wheels are 19-inch bright machine alloy wheel with the dark tarnished premium painted pockets and the wheel you're seeing right here in the image all season tires as well tire pressure monitoring system for all four of those four wheel disc brakes with the abs you will also get the electric brake boost and regenerative braking as well for the vehicle so that helps break uh, the uh, regenerate as much of that power as it can back to the batteries for you also uh you will also notice the um the wheel wallet moldings, they're going to be body colored here. So that really dresses that up. Give it a nice look. Body colored there as well as on the lower part of that and coming up around the rear wheel, uh, wheel well liners. So that's uh, real nice. So giving you that body color accent there on the side, reflectors on the front. Uh, so it lo looks real cool on the vehicle. And you're going to see the rocker molding as well down here. It's going to be uh, have a, a real nice look to it as well. Uh, the, the applique, they call those the door spears on those. that look real sharp. Now on the, the badging here on the, on the door as well is going to be chrome on the bottom. And then you're going to see a blue accent on that as well, again, to denote that it is an electric vehicle. 
also you're going to see the charge port so that opens up that gives you a charge port so you can plug this vehicle in again this is a plug-in hybrid so it'll, it'll be able to plug in and recharge that battery completely um, at night that kind of thing or even on the road if you want to uh, so you're going to have that also you're going to get a mobile charge cord as well that's going to come with the vehicle so if you're on on the road on the move and you need to charge you can as well to kind of regenerate some of that now remember the hybrid will still be able to regenerate some of the the power but if you want to fully go in all electric mode you'll want to make sure you plug it in and uh it won't take long to charge that for sure also you're going to have the body color door handles right here as well the uh, chrome accent on the uh, upper uh, part of that window molding as well as down here in the belt line molding uh, black mirror caps that come with that as well right there so it looks real sharp on the vehicle now the mirrors are going to be auto fold mirror so they'll fold in when you lock the vehicle up also going to get power and heated feature along with that in memory for those mirrors so the driver different drivers oh it'll, it'll program those to different locations for those different drivers uh, also, the the top of the roof, you will have the side roof rack rails as well. So uh, there'll be chrome up there. So real nice. I maybe even satin finish to those. Uh, look and see what those have. Uh, didn't, just went right past that part of that bright chrome it says here. Uh, so pretty cool on how that looks. Uh, privacy glass in these back windows and back glass as well. Intelligent access allows you to put just leave the key fob in your pocket, put your hands in the door handle. So, um, automatically going to unlock the vehicle, allow you to get in and out, get out of the vehicle press the ridges it's going to lock the vehicle up as well uh, so intelligent access is a nice feature to have you also get a uh, secure code keyless entry keypad so you just swipe down there on that pillar and it's going to allow you to be able to program your own uh, code so you can unlock the vehicle without having the keys on you which is a nice feature to have remote start system as well so on the remote that you get uh, that you have in your pocket yeah you can remote start it if you're close enough proximity to the vehicle i'll let you know how you can remote start from anywhere uh here when we get to the interior features there now, for the mirror, you do have that bliss with cross-traffic alert, including trailer uh, monitoring, uh, uh, trailer coverage, I should say, which bl the bliss is your blind spot information system. So it's going to monitor your blind spot. If there's someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a uh, light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that line at that time. Also, if you have a trailer, uh, if you have the tow package and you have a trailer, it's going to monitor the blind spot of your trailer as well. Now, if you're backing up, it's going to use cross-traffic alert. So if someone comes behind you, it's going to alert you, let you know it's not safe for you to back up. Series of tones, message on the productivity screen that you shouldn't back up. Now, if you're not paying attention to that and you're still continuing to back up because you don't see anybody, it's going to have cross-traffic braking as well that's going to break the vehicle for you. It does not want you to get in that, that accident, so that's nice, a feature to have. That's a new feature that's uh, just come around uh, recently here. Um, it does have the panoramic Vista roof, a standard equipment. Uh, hard to see here, but it's going to be a, a black roof up here and panoramic Vista roof with the power sunshade. That's standard equipment. You do have to go up to the like the um, the collection three on the on the standard and the reserve to get that. It's standard equipment on this trim here. Uh, child safety locks on these rear doors so that way you can lock those out so the kids don't open those when you don't want them to 16.2 gallon fuel tank as well and you're going to have the easy fuel kappa's filler door so you just press that door there uh real easy to be able to just open that up double door system there just put the nozzle in fill it up no cap to worry about leaving behind getting your hands dirty anything like that when you're done just put it away uh, this door probably does lock uh, with the, the a lot of your hybrids will with a door lock into your door lock so you'll probably need to press that to release the door but the, the second door in there does have two latches so it has to be the exact size nozzle uh, from what you get the fuel pump so a lot of your gas cans and all that will not be the right size you'll need to use a funnel that's provided with the vehicle to be able to open that up so now let's move around to the back uh, now uh, use this angle here and get a little bit closer there we go and we'll move it up a little bit so you can see that. So on the back, body colored rear spoiler back there. Also high gloss black pieces under here. Center high mounted stoplight up there. It's hard to see here. Uh, the third brake light, um, black pieces coming down here as well. Lincoln, uh, nice chrome Lincoln lettering back here. Do have rear defrost with rear wiper and a rear, rear washer back here as well. LED tail light to go clear across the back back here with the fade up on those uh, fade on for the Lincoln Embrace as well. We talked about that earlier. Rear view camera, reverse sensing as well. So you're going to be able to see as you're backing up and you're going to get alert if you get too close to anything. Also, you do have the body colored up here. The rear bumper is going to be body colored as well, as well as the lower part. The rear fascia back here, you can see that it's body colored too with the black accent uh, on the back back there too with chrome dual exhaust with the chrome tips back here too 
reflectors on those bumpers there too. Uh, so you can uh, see that right there. Power lift gate as well. So you can be able to power that lift gate up using a remote or pressing a little button underneath there. You will have a mini spare inside, 17 inch mini spare on the vehicle. Also under the flooring, you can lift that bottom flooring up and you're gonna see within the spare tire around the outside, some cargo management system there. So section off that, put things in there. Also, you have a cargo area power point as well in the vehicle too. So you can be able to power different devices if you want in the back of the rear cargo area. So that's all of our exterior features. Now let's move inside and talk about some of the interior features. Now moving to the interior, there are five different color interiors that are available for you. So plenty of things that will please about anybody. Now, first, let's talk about the ebony interior. You're going to see ebony interior is going to give you that kind of the gray headliner and overhead console uh, bin and visors and such right there. Uh, they're going to be that color. Uh, but then you're going to see ebony uh, throughout here. So with, whether it be with your door trim, your uh, arm pull as well, and your seats uh, are going to be all black interior as well as uh, on your dash. So let's move around to this side. Uh, so you're going to see that on the, the console as, as well, or the um, I should say the dash coming across as well as on the instrument panel in the lower part of that. Now you will see the finish here to this. Let's get a little bit closer and you can see the applique across here. I love that. That's that star light uh and applique across there you can see the lights coming through that oh beautiful finish something new for this year i love it you have ambient lighting we'll talk more about that in a second that lights up across there but really just i love that look to the vehicle so the ebony is going to get that instrument panel or applique right there now the other one i want to just jump down below is the sandstone interior so sandstone interior uh is going to look oh, there you go that's what it's going to look like so it's kind of a really very light tan. It's the lightest interior that you're going to have. Uh, so the seats as well as um, the seat cushions as well, as well as the seat uh, features it comes with. Inserts in the door as well. Uh, darker finish, I believe, maybe even ebony in, uh, finish there. Um, actually, it looks like a light, like a dark brown actually there for you. So you're going to see that in the lower part as well as on the dash. So you're going to see the different look. Now, this one here, you're going to see a wood applique. That is going to be standard equipment for you here on this one. I believe wood applique is the only finish you can have with this uh, this color interior. So you're going to see what that's going to look like here for it. So dark brown, light brown, you're seeing with that two-tone on the steering wheel as well. So you're going to have that, that color of interior that's available. Now let's move over to the ebony and smoke truffle because that is an, a color we did see on the standard as well as reserve trim. You're going to see you're going to have your ebony along with your gray finish here for you. So uh, dark gray here, as you can see with the, the front of the surfaces being that light gray, you can also see that same uh, two-tone color ebony and the gray uh, finish here on the door as well as on the, you're gonna see that on the instrument panel as well here for you. So different couple different color accents. I believe this one here uh, has different color and interior accents for the applique here. So um, move that. Uh, See, looking a little closer here, you can see what that looks like. That's standard on this. Oh man, let's take a little while. Um, okay, so let's take a little while. Won't go that route, but down here uh, in the interior section, uh, you can actually see what's included. So you have it looks like that is the wood finish coming across there, but I believe you have different uh, color interiors available on these. So um, this in here, you can see the smoke truffle also can get the same applique across here. So that is going to be uh, the starlight metallic applique that is available on the smoke truffle uh, uh, for you, as well as I believe this is the, the one that's showing is this one right here, this aluminum trim that's also, I believe, available. Yes, so that's available as well. So th those are the two options for you for the smoke truffle. Um, I, th I think the wood applique is it's not showing that one. So if we click on that, uh, does change that so yeah that was a wood applique and now we have that aluminum so you have three different color of instrument panels available either that wood applique there or you have this aluminum finish like you're seeing here with no illumination coming through or that star light applique so you have all three of those options available on the smoke truffle for your interior trim which is uh, really cool to have now moving on up uh let's see if it lets us go up there we go now we have the let's go on to the ebony and cashew interior here this is a darker brown interior for you. Uh, so if you're wanting this interior, this also has that wood finish coming across there as well on the instrument panel. But you're seeing ebony and the dark brown finish here. So two-tone there. So a uh, little bit different uh, two-tone finish than you see with the sandstone. So um, so real nice how that looks, ebony and that darker brown. So And then, of course, you can see the instrument panel 
and the dash and what that looks like with the two-tone ebony and the, the dark brown. So a couple different yeah. looks. You have the uh, wood applique there. I believe on this one too, you do have uh, another uh, option for this. So uh, see, it's aluminum available. Um, yes, so this aluminum is available on this trim as well. Uh, so you have the that aluminum finish. You can have the wood finish or you could have that uh, the wood. So you can see there that wood applique is you'd remove it instead with the aluminum. So you have those two color of instrument panels available. The star white is not available, I don't believe, on this interior trim. It is not. So that's more uh, directed towards the darker color interior. So those are your two options, the wood or this aluminum for this trim here. So now let's go up and... Um, Go to the last one, which is your Ebony and Eternal Red. Now, this is a really cool. Um, this one here, I love the, the finish. This does give you the aluminum finish if you want. Uh, actually, this one has a, an upgraded aluminum finish that is not listed in here. So uh, let's see if I can get closer. Let's see if it works this time. There we go. So it look, works. That is a different aluminum finish. You do not see that in instrument applique on any of the other trims or uh, color trims uh, for this one. And you're going to see, I love the finish and look. You're going to see that red coming across on the top of the console. You can also see it on the door. So let's actually close out of this and go to the side. So you can see the seats are going to be that red. Ebony as well integrated in here. Mainly ebony on the doors. Um, for you, you're going to see that red on the console cover as well as across the around the dash and the vents there. So there's a different look for you on no matter what you're looking for, you should have something that you're going to like there. Let's go to the ebony and cashew on this one because I did a video with the others. So that way we can kind of see how everything looks here. So let's talk about this inside. You're going to have the symphonic chimes. So for when your doors are open, maybe your seatbelt's not latched and that kind of thing, it's going to have a different sound. So then what you'd normally see on maybe one of the Ford vehicles inside, you have the cabin particulate and odor filter as well with the vehicle premium ambient lighting, as we've been seeing in a lot of these others we've been talking about lights up the foot wells underneath the seats uh, also the um, media hub area as well you're going to see that star light up as well right in there you're going to see it across the dash so love the upgraded premium ambient lighting you're getting with this scuff plates on the front and rear doors the front ones will be illuminated as well for the scuff plates um the in the door trim as well is getting upgraded so you're getting an upgrade with the soft uh, upgraded soft uh, on the uh, top parts of that. So it's going to be kind of almost, it doesn't say it's leather here, but a nice soft finish to that uh, door trim up there as well on there. So really uh, premium finish to it. Your seats are going to be premium leather trim seats, 10 way power adjustment for the driver's seat, including power lumbar, eight way power passenger seat, including power lumbar for the passenger seat as well. So Heated seat for the driver and front passenger, as well as driver memory for the seat and the mirror, as we talked about earlier with the mirror. Second row, 60-40 split bench seats, so those seats can slide forward and back, as well as recline back. You have an armrest that comes out of the middle backrest there back as well. For you, you do have a release in the back, so you do have a manual seat release, so you can recline those, the, uh, release that seat down to fold almost completely flat. You'll have map pockets behind those uh, front seats for those in the rear seat to use, as well as USB port, uh, two USB type A's behind the, on the back of the console. And you do get the latch system that lower anchors and tethers for children that allows you to safely secure those front and rear facing car seats into the latch system uh, that's located in the rear seats back here. For the windows, power windows, one touch, up and down feature for all four of the windows, which means you just hard press it down, then you don't have to hold it, you can release it, and it's gonna lower those down. Coming up, you pull until you feel the click, let go, and it's gonna they're gonna go up as well. So um, it's a real nice and easy feature there. Also global open and close windows, which means that if you're on the outside of the vehicle and maybe it's hot outside, you know the interior of that car is going to be really hot. You can actually uh, lower those down before you get to it. So close to proximity, you press that unlock once and then press and hold it uh, for a while and it'll, they'll, they'll start coming down. And also they'll close the same way. So press that lock and then press and hold it for a while and they'll go up as well. So they do let, make you do that for a while just because it takes a little, uh, they want to make sure that that's what your intention is, is to open or to close those. Also, it does have power locks with auto unlock and lock, which means you start going, it's going to automatically lock the doors for you. Um, so some of these features like the global open close as well as the power the auto lock and unlock, those are features in the lock section of your vehicle setting screen that you can actually go ahead and activate and deactivate those if you don't want those. Leather wrap steering wheel here with the manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel, so the lever underneath, so it'll go up and down, forward and back for you. 
You do have the, on the steering wheel itself, you're gonna have redundant audio controls, as well as controls for that 12.3 inch productivity screen that you're seeing, that digital screen behind you there, or behind the steering wheel, that, that's gonna have that as well. And you're gonna have the adaptive cruise control. Uh, so you actually turn it on by pressing the little button right there. And then adaptive cruise, is uh, there's several different features with, within this. So adaptive cruise means that if you're going slower than someone or faster than someone that's in front of you and you cannot pass them, it'll slow you down to go their speed. You don't have to press your brake, even bring it to complete stop if it needs to, and then resume as it starts to go. Stop and go is what that means. Also, it's going to come with the lane centering. So that means it'll keep you in the center of your lane. So lane centering is activated with your cruise control activated. It's different than a lane lane keeping system. So it doesn't let you get over those lines. It actually is keeping you in the center of your line for that adaptive cruise control. It includes the intelligent part of that, which is the speed sign recognition part of that. So what's great about that is if you're, let's say you like to go a certain speed, let's say you can put a tolerance in there. Let's say I like to go five over the speed limit. If the speed limit's 70, I'll be cruising along at 675. If that speed sign changes to 60, it's gonna slow me down to go 65. So it's gonna slow down that vehicle. Now, if you don't have your cruise on, but you still have the intelligent uh, uh, set up for that, it'll still let you know and warn you if you're coming to a speed zone and it's changed on you and you're, and you're exceeding. Uh, if you're getting close to 10 over, it actually will blink and let you know. And if you set up the tones as well, we'll let you alert you that you're um, coming into a new speed zone. So that's really nice to know. Also, predictive, <clears throat> the predictive speed assist as well, which means if you're coming up to a uh, curve and it's going, uh, that curve is, is slanted to where you need to slow down, it's going to let you know that too and slow down your vehicle as well for that too. <clears throat> so that's uh, nice features to have. So that's predictive speed assist is new for this year. Uh, the Lincoln Corsair is one of the, the first vehicle to receive that. Now we're going to go into the 360 view here to uh, show you the rest. We do have the push button start. It is located right here with the piano style shifters. So that's going to be located right there across it, right above your audio controls, uh, which speaking of that is the Lincoln premium audio sound system with 10 speakers, including a subwoofer, uh, AM FM MP3 player with Sirius XM satellite radio as well. You'll notice it does have the Sync 4 system. That's an upgraded Sync 4 with the enhanced voice recognition system that allows you to use wake up words to uh, be able to use it, kind of like Alexa or Google Home or one of those systems. Also gives you the 13.2 inch screen here. New upgraded screen for this year. Uh, beautiful screen here for you to be able to use with on-demand on features over here. Also, you do have the, the wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay as well. And you'll have Lincoln Connect, which allows you to stay connected to the vehicle using the Lincoln app. Free app you download. You can remote start your vehicle from anywhere. You can unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere. Schedule remote start times. See the tire pressure on your tires, the fuel that you have in the vehicle, and even where it's located using the free app that you can download. Love how that works. Also, we do have the personal profiles that allows you to program those in based on your key when you get in the vehicle for your memory settings for your mirrors, for your seat, also for your audio, what audio station you had on last time, uh, even your driver assist features. Uh, let's see what other features, um, your uh, audio controls, the displays on the screen as well. All that's gonna be memorized using the personal profile. So uh, that's real nice in how those work. Now, the uh, mirror up here is an auto dimming rear view mirror. So that's gonna automatically dim that mirror for you. When it gets dark, it'll dim it so those cars come up behind you with those bright lights won't blind you. Map lights up here, as well as overhead console on the bend and the controls for your panoramic vista roof, as you can see there. And the visors here will have illuminated vanity mirrors on the back side of those. And you're going to have the, uh, let's show the, here the universal garage door opener. Is that standard? We'll get into that because I don't believe that is standard equipment. It's not in my features here. So we'll get into that in a second because that actually is part of one of the collection packages which you can upgrade to. Media bub, media uh, bin right here that does retract. There's a little lever here. You just push that forward and it locks into place. For the media hub, you will see the nice Lincoln star right there. It looks real cool. In the media hub, you'll have a USB type A and C ports as well to be able to power different devices. And you'll also have storage in this console here. Uh, the drive mode switch is there. Your auto uh, parking brake and auto hold buttons are right there as well. And you'll notice the ambient lighting in those cup holders too. So that's all of our uh, standard equipment that we want to talk about. Um, there's also a, I uh, wanted to talk about a couple different collections that are available uh, for this. Uh, so let's get into those. Now we're going to go ahead and talk about collection two. Collection two is an upgrade and available on the, uh, on the Corsair on any of the different 
trim level. So we're going to actually use this this clip on all three of ours, our standard reserve and our Grand Touring, pretty much a lot of the same equipment. There's a couple features that are, are different on them, and I'll let you know as we talk about those. So I want to use these clips, so I actually want to collect on the Collection 2 here for the standard trim, so you can kind of see what it looks like. Uh, so just going to upgrade a little bit here for the standard trim. You're going to get the rain sensing wipers here, which means if you go ahead and uh, turn those, oh, bring that up a little bit. If you have not one of those intermittent settings, it starts to rain. It's going to automatically start wiping the windshield for you. Uh, starts to rain harder, it's going to wipe faster for you. You don't have to do anything on your end. Also, you're going to get the windshield wiper de-icers. So a lot of times, you know, you're going to have, you know, snow and such. No, the the windshield itself will defrost that off, but then the wipers tend to get wet. They freeze up on you. The the the, the icers will help keep those um, dried out or keep them clean. So that way you don't have to worry about that. You're going to get upgraded for the wheels here. So an 18 inch bright machine aluminum wheel with a dark tarnish finish for the standard trim alone. So uh, just with this trim, the reserve and the, um, the Grand Touring will not have uh, the up upgraded wheel because you are going to get an upgraded wheel as part of those packages or those uh, trims, I should say. The side view mirrors, you're going to add the auto dimming feature as well as the turn signal indicator on the outside over here. And you're going to get the Lincoln welcome mat. That is going to light the ground beside the vehicle with a nice Lincoln welcome mat beside of it. Uh, so this is a nice upgrade and looks real sharp as you're approaching the vehicle and part of your Lincoln embrace when you um, walk up to the vehicle. Also, you're getting getting enhanced with the phone as a key. That allows you to program your phone to be a key, and so you don't need to carry your keys. I actually use this on uh, one of my vehicles and love it. I love the, that access of that, so it works really well. If for some reason your phone is dead because you do have the keypad, you can still get into the vehicle. And when you go to start the vehicle, if your phone's dead and not able to use it, you actually set up ahead of time a password for the vehicle. So then you can still start the vehicle even with a dead phone. Uh, love how this works. Also, you get the hands-free foot act, a hands-free lift gate. So uh, that allows you, if you want to just uh, use your foot to, to kick underneath it, and what it'll do is go ahead and power up that lift gate. So that's a real nice feature. Now that is something that we're finding out, it may be something they deactivate depending on chip holds and, and shortages that they have. They did have to deactivate that last year or just or delete it off some packages. Be aware that might happen on this as well. Now, moving inside, Let's go to the interior here, talk about some of the interior features you get uh, as part of this. Now, you're going to be upgraded for the, um, go to the side one. There you go. You're going to get upgraded in the front seat to front heated and ventilated uh, seats for the driver and front passenger. Ventilated is like your cooled seat. So it's going to pull that air through the seat, cooling it off instead of, you know, cooling the seat off itself. So I like how that works. Uh, second row, 60-40 split bench seat still. Uh, you're going to have all that. Now you're going to have a power seat release. So in the, let's say you're in the rear cargo area, you're in there, you realize you have something large, you need to move those seats. You don't have to go around to the doors to lower those down. You can hit the buttons in the back. It's going to automatically power down one side or another. 60-40 split bench seat. Uh, nice feature to have there. Now it will, it's a seat release. So it releases the seat to fall forward, but won't bring it back into position, just so you know that. Um, also, you do have the power tilt and telescoping steering wheel so instead of pulling that lever underneath there's going to be a dial on the side electronically it'll go up and down forward and back and is also included in your driver memory features along with your seat and your mirrors heated steering wheel is going to be upgraded for this as well so i love that i didn't mention earlier on on the video that it does have a little a button over here that allows uh for uh different uh controls there so pretty nice and how that works also, you get the frameless mirror as well. So now it's automatically auto dimming already, but now it's going to be frameless. So you're going to have that on the mirror there as well. Uh, and then you're going to have universal garage door openers. So uh, let's see if we can get a good image of this. So bring up, you're going to see those transmitter buttons there. So you can program those for different garage doors. So you don't have to have a garage door opener on your clip to your visor anymore. And you're going to have a wireless charging pad. So down in this media hub area, you can put your phone down in there. It's going to wirelessly charge your phone. Also, what's included in this uh, package, uh, the Collection 2, is the Copilot 360 2.1 Vision Package. So let me go, uh, we're going to go over that as well. So uh, go down here to the Vision Package, and we're going to show you what that looks like. So your uh, Vision Package, as you can see, is included. So we're going to we're going to pull that up there. So this is going to be you're going to get your 360 degree camera with this one. So this one here is going to give you a camera underneath each of those mirrors and on under the front so you can get a bird's eye view around the vehicle. So it's going to be the back or front camera on one side and then 360 view on the other. 
Also with this, you're going to get the front uh, front and rear parking sensors. You already get the rear parking sensors. Now you're going to get front sensors as well. So pretty much perimeter sensing there. And as you're backing up, you're going to get the reverse brake assist. So not just as you're backing up uh, with the cross traffic, if there's something behind you and you're, it's alerting you and you're not breaking, uh, not paying attention, it will break the vehicle as well. So we did see that as part of the cross traffic braking. This is actually, even if it's not cross traffic, they're not come behind you. If there's some someone there, as you get closer and closer to it and you're not paying attention, it'll break the vehicle as well. So that vision package, I love how they name that because it really does have to do with about being able to see around the vehicle, sensing and really protecting you around the vehicle. Nice safety feature here. So this is also included in collection too. Uh, so if you go with that, uh, that uh, depending on uh, the cost on it is really depending on which uh, trim level you're looking at because again there are a couple features in here that were exclusive to certain trims um, so that's uh, some of those uh, features that are going to be included as part of this collection too so now we're going to talk about collection three and collection three will vary in price depending on which trim level you're you're looking at because this collection three is available on the standard reserve and the grand touring uh, and this is going to give you everything as part of collection two features Plus, it's going to give you some other upgrades, including another package that's included in this. So let's talk about some of the features as we're looking at the front here of the vehicle. So first off, you're going to get upgraded. If you're looking at not on the standard trim, but on the reserve, uh, you're going to get upgraded to the adaptive suspension system. So that's a real nice suspension system. Adapts for those road conditions and such to adapt that suspension and give you a great overall ride. That's already included as standard on the Grand Touring, uh, not available on the, um, the standard trim, but that is going to be an upgrade on the reserve also you're going to get the panoramic vista roof with the power sunshade now this is available on the standard or the reserve it's going to already be included in the um the grand touring which you've already probably seen if you're watching that trim but panoramic vista roof is going to give you that twin that uh, nice uh, power sunshade opens that up and gives you the panoramic vista roof in there with a um, moon roof that opens up now on the interior uh, let's go to that there you're going to get upgraded with the auto air fresh system that's an ultra cabin uh, uh fresh cabin area will give a pollen carbon a high efficiency filter as well so really nice fresh air uh scent to it and feel and uh, having that in there also you're going to get the rear heated seats so the out to outbound seats are going to get heated seat as part of this package uh, you also get the heads up display so i'm uh, not able not showing really an image here of this but heads up display puts it on that glass there looks like it's on the road for your navigation uh, different things like that, uh, your speed, that kind of thing, having that heads-up display right up there. And you're going to also get upgraded with the Revel audio sound system with 14 speakers, including a subwoofer, and you get HD radio as well upgraded to it. So real nice Revel audio sound system, and Revel does a great job. You also get as part of this you're getting another package. Uh, so we already talked about that the get the drive package as part of that collection two, but now collection three, you're getting this 2.1 vision package. So I'm not sure why it didn't go ahead and uh, highlight that when we collect it. But uh, in here with this, this package here, you're getting everything as part of the, oh, not the vision, the drive package is the one I wanna talk about. The drive package, you're gonna getting everything included in collection two, including the vision package. So it'll tell you that. At talk, it gives you the vision as well, plus all these features. So this is the one where you're getting the active glide. They're calling it the 1.5, uh, order guide says uh, 1.2, uh, but you are getting that extra drive, hands-free driving in a sense. So I love this feature. Uh, so this is the new enhanced system that they came out with for this year. This is the first vehicle getting the upgraded system to this. So the uh, the hands-free driving in a sense. So it's going to be able to sense everything. It allows you to take your hands off the steering wheel, and it's going to drive the vehicle for you uh, on those highway when you have the cruise, con cruise control activated along with your lane keeping system. So I love this, the active uh, glide. Again, have this feature on my vehicle. Uh, not to the, I don't have the new upgraded system like this has, but it's going to allow you to be able to go hands-free driving on those uh, certain highways. But this system upgrades with a couple extra features as part of the new upgraded system, including the assisted lane change. So normally what you have to do on the other system and what uh, they would have the, the first generation of the Active Glide is you'd have to put your turn signal on, take hand of the, the steering wheel, and then go over to that lane. Now, 
you just hit the, the turn signal and it's going to go over as well uh, for you so you don't have to do the steering it's going to do that for you and even alert you and let you know when there's an option that you could move over so if you're slowed down to going on speed to the vehicle in front of you and it sees that there's nobody over there it's going to actually alert you that you might want to be able to change your lane now and then so you can do that also in lane repositioning what that means is that if you're in that lane and let's say there's a big semi or something next to you and maybe they're hugging that it's going to bring you over and reposition you if they, it needs to uh so bring you away from that line so i like this too because there's been some situations with mine where um i've like oh, that's awful close over there i don't feel real comfortable with that and i almost want to take over the wheel uh so i like this uh this being upgraded into this as well and as part of this, you're also getting the Active Park Assist 2.0 with the um, the front parking aid, which we already had that as earlier, as mentioned, as part of that vision package. And so the Active Park Assist is going to help you parallel park the vehicle, reverse perpendicular park your vehicle, and park out. It takes care of the steering as well as the shifting of the transmission as well. You just hold the button and it's going to help and it'll even help you find those parking spaces that you can park in for those those types of situations. Also, you get the intersection assist 2.0. We mentioned earlier intersection assist was standard as part of the safety features. Now you're getting the 2.0, which also does the driver state mirror uh, monitoring camera as well. So it monitors you as well. So upgraded intersection assist system with this uh so this is a great package again included in the collection three uh for this uh as well and uh, with all the other features so some great features here that are included in this package and uh you know so I'll let you know there are three different options your collection one collection two or this collection collection three now let's talk about another package that's available and that is the towing package so if you do want to uh, tow some sort of trailer you want to make sure you upgrade to this package it's going to give you the receiver hitch right there as well on this vehicle so it's 500 dollars giving the receiver hitch and the wiring available for you to be able to tow uh some sort of trailer and such you want to check the guides to see what the towing capacity is for the vehicle uh, but you will be able to tow uh, with it having that a uh, nice uh, class four receiver hitch uh maybe a class two receiver hitch but it will give you the two inch uh receiver hitch there and allow you to be able to put the different uh, tow different trailers with it so that towing package is available on all of your different trims all right, so let's first talk about the optional wheel. We're going to talk about standalone options here and start with this optional wheel. So you can get the 20-inch aluminum premium painted alloy wheel. So upgrade from a 19 to 20. Upgrade the style as well there. And that is available on any of your collections, whether it be collection one, two, or three. That is available as optional equipment if you want to add that. Now, moving down, uh, some of these you'll see are already checked means they're already included in different packages. Some of these don't have prices means they're part of those different collections, collection two or collection three. Uh, so we'll keep going down. Those are all part of those different packages. Now, here's an accessory that's available that you can order through the factory for the for, for this year that's new for this year. And that is a couple different wheel locking kits. You do have the exposed locking lug nut kit. Um, so and then we have the uh, hidden uh, locking lug nut kit. So a couple different options there for you. I think the reason these are options is depends on which wheel option you get is what uh, I think why you choose these different ones. It actually doesn't say in here. Um, but it really depends on uh, available with all collection, uh, all these collections. So um, it doesn't really say in an order guide, uh, but it does list them both twice. Um, so I'm not sure uh, what the difference is between those. Why 170, 175? I think it might be based on the different wheels you have. Now moving down to some interior options. We have the cargo area protector here. 125. Get you a little bit closer by clicking on the eye there. You can kind of see what that looks like. That is a Ford accessory option that will come with your vehicle from the factory. They'll put it in at the factory before they ship the vehicle to the dealership. So that's optional for you. We do have these roadside assistance kits and the first aid kit. So these are all both available. Um, they have a nice little uh, bag with the Lincoln logo on those. Uh, those are available. You could put it on your build. Um, actually, they'll be shipped to the dealership ahead of time. The dealership will put it in it, but also should be available through Lincoln Accessories website too. Uh, if you want to get either one of those so you can kind of see what's included in both of those different kits um I, I try to tell people you know try to get that later if you can the more of these options on there if one of those ends up being not in stock then they may um you know they may not ship your might not schedule your vehicle for uh, for production so it's always something to keep in mind the rear uh removable 
package tray that would come with your vehicle from the factory and that's going to go on the back back there in the rear cargo area so it's latches on the sides to a couple different spots in the side of the, the cargo area and then those other hooks go on the lift gate itself so that way when you have the lift gate shut they can't see through there at all that's going to protect it and cover that up put that tray in there and cover it up so they can't see through there and then when you lift up the lift gate it's going to lift that those it's going to follow those those uh, wires there to come go open up for you so that's something again and it's a ford accessory that should be available or a ford accessory had <laughs> lincoln accessory so it should be available through your lincoln accessories website but you can also order it with your vehicle and we'll come with it from the factory now we do have these all weather mat floor liners there's two different options here one with the carpeted mats and one without so if you're somebody that says you know i don't like the carpeted mats i want the all weather mats save yourself 40 dollars and go with the um this other option and it will not include the carpeted mats. But if you want both, then you go with that other option. Now, we mentioned these appliques, and those available on different, depends on the different trim that you have. And then we do have two cargo organizers here. We have a standard size, and we have a large size. So you can kind of see what that looks like there. Uh, three of them are open compartments. You can see a soft-sided. Uh, there's a standard one as well as a large one. Uh, those are also should be available through Lincoln Accessories as website as well. Um, but you can order it. Uh, from the factory they'll be shipped to the dealership and the dealership will put it in your vehicle when it arrives uh, moving down these are all included as part of those uh, car uh, the collection one and twos uh, packages we do have this cargo organizer this cooler bag this is also available through lincoln accessories and it'll say it'll have lincoln on there again that's something i would just encourage you to get through them instead of ordering on your vehicle but if you do order it it'll be shipped to the dealership at a time and the dealership will put it in your vehicle. Same way on these ash cup with the with the lighter. So it'll come if you want, like in a sense, a smoker's package. It'll give you the cup that will go in one of the console, uh, one of the cup holders, and then the lighter will come with it. Or you can go with this uh, ash cup with the coin holder, which basically means it's the same cup. It's just this one won't come with a lighter. So those are your two options. Again, those could be you can get those through. Those are a Ford accessory that will be uh, sent to the dealership at a time, and the dealership would put it in your vehicle for you. I think that's all of everything down here that we have listed. Now there is something that I still have, I, I don't see here. Uh, when you go to collection two or collection three, um, so we'll see if we pick that. I didn't on the reserve video. I didn't see it either. So when you go to collection three and choose that collection, um, you do also have an option for the seating configuration. Uh, so I don't see it in here. It'd be under interior. So I didn't notice it on the that on it either, but on here it's not showing it. There it is. So perfect position seat, 24-way power driver and front passenger seat that includes the active motion, which gives you the massaging seat feature. So that is available on the collection three, not available to collection one or two. That's why we didn't see it in there, but that is available. It's $12.85 for that option if you want to add that to your build. The other thing that's not listed in here that is also uh, optional equipment, and that's for people that live in a state that doesn't require front license plate, is the front license plate bracket. It's a no charge option, so, but you want to add it as an optional equipment if you want that put on your vehicle. So especially if you're ordering through us out of state and that kind of thing, you want to put that on your vehicle. A couple other things that are not located, not on here that are late availability options. And one of them is the Lincoln Premium Audio Sound System Subwoofer Delete. So because of park constraints and such, they did this in 22, is they took off the subwoofer on the standard audio sound system. Um, so it will not be available on the gravel audio sound system. It's going to get its subwoofer. But if you have a collection one or two, uh, this might be something they might add to your build or requ require you to put on yours to, to remove the subwoofer. So just to let you know that could happen. Also, late availability is for those, uh, for whether it be collection one, two, or three, you can actually remove the mobile cord a charger charging cord if you want so you can delete that off your order probably save you some money uh, also i think they're putting that in as a late availability in case they run out of the power cords um, that they might have to remove those from those builds so that is a possibility so just let you know that and that could happen now let's go ahead and move on do some conclusion there's some things i want to talk about uh, before we end this video now, in conclusion, I want to kind of also move down, and there's another section here that we have not highlighted and talked about, and that is the summary section. So you can click on that, and it moves down to the summary and goes over the different options that you chose for your build. So it's a great way to use this website to be able to, to custom build how you want yours built. So here uh, it shows that the extra cost for the crystal red. You notice collection three is a little bit cheaper than it is on the reserve as well as the standard because some of those features are already included standard equipment like the Panorama Vista roof and that's why it's 
almost two thousand dollars cheaper is because of that one, one mainly for that one feature but some other features too uh, now moving down i don't think we selected anything else uh, but then that gives you kind of a total down here of what the MS, base msrp price the options you chose um, and, and such like that the destination charge would be what it costs to get it from the lincoln factory to your dealership so that is uh that that's what that cost is going to be that's the the rail carrier as well as the car the car carrier now this acquisition fee though is something that's only put on if you're leasing the vehicle so if you click on the sale calculator you can actually see you can actually change that to finance and you'll notice that it disappears um, but then you can also uh, fiddle with this and see how you want to figure out down payment uh, you know it puts 10 percent down if you have a trade and that kind of thing you can even lock in uh, look up, I should say, your trade-in value and such and fiddle with the, the terms as well as the rates there and see what that is. Now, these rates that are on here are based on Ford's current rates right now when you order the vehicle. And so when we talk about locking in your rates here in just a little bit, these are the rates we're talking about locking in that's available for this uh, the, for the Corsair. And then you can hit the save and close and it keeps that. So you will see that payment there. Now, you can also uh, down here, you can uh, still look up some of that stuff right there. Move on up. Uh, this custom order button, I believe this what that'll do is actually send a request to your local Lincoln dealership with your order. And basically, they can click on that order and they can see it. But you can, another way of doing that is you can move up, you can hit this print button, and you can print that off. And you can take it into your Lincoln dealership and say, this is how I'd like to order my 2023 Lincoln Corsair. And they can use that to order the vehicle. Also, you can hit the share button. So let's say you may be working with us and you're out of state. You can hit this copy button. And you can send that, put that into an email and send it off to, to your dealer, salesperson, whatever it might be. And you can say, this is how I want it ordered. And they can print it off on their end and they can go ahead and order the vehicle with that. That's great information and an easy way to do that. And the reason I share that is because I do want to talk about if you want to get your uh, vehicle, of course, you can work, work through your local Lincoln dealership. Um, but if you're struggling with your Lincoln dealership to, uh, to honor price protection as well as the uh, lock in those incentives, if they don't know how to do those, you might uh, uh, you know, ask them about that because it's very important because if you order the vehicle right now and it might take could take several months for it to come in if there's a price increase from the time you order it from when it comes in then Lincoln does send back the deal uh, to to the dealership uh, that 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 difference in that price because they will price protect it uh, as long as the person that buys it is a person that ordered it and you want to make sure that Lincoln that Lincoln dealership gives that money to you. So uh, we know a little bit about how price protection works and we know that uh, we're confident that they're gonna reimburse us for that amount. Uh, and so we know how that works. So we're gonna honor that price protection. Also, any incentive lock. So we did see those rates there. If rates happen to go up after you ordered the vehicle, you're actually gonna be locked into when you ordered, the, the time that you ordered, as long as the dealership knows how to use that, the protection date on the incentives instead of the sale date. So you can look and see which works best for you. And we know how that works as well here at Law MacArthur Lincoln. So uh, we are doing MSRP pricing. We have a $500 dealer fee and um, we know how to do that. We do have a YouTube special that if you want to, uh, you we can get up to $1,000 off uh, to go towards shipping if you finance with us at standard rates. So that offer is not in, can be compatible with this, any kind of special rate that's going on. But like right now, you saw those rates there. Uh, if you can get, you know, we can have a lot of other lenders and get pretty close to some of those other rates and have it shipped right to your door. So uh, just keep that in mind. Or you won't work with us. Uh, we can do that for you. We are taking 2023 Lincoln Corsair uh, orders right now. So feel free to contact us and we can help you out and get the vehicle that you're looking for as quickly as possible because we know how to work with constraints and know how to let you know and keep you informed on your order and so that you can get your vehicle as quick as possible. Possible. Some dealerships aren't always apprised to those different changes uh, because of park constraints and such we've seen in the last year. And we can, we stay up to date with those and even do a live stream talking about those every Tuesday night here on our YouTube channel. So feel free to send those orders to us if you want to do that. Don't forget, if you did like this video, I'd really appreciate it if you smash that like button. If you like this video, you probably like some of our other videos. So hit that red subscribe button down below so you can get subscribed to the video. Hit the, or subscribe to our channel. Hit the notification bell. You'll also get notified next with another video uploaded to our YouTube channel. And I, I don't forget, you can uh, follow us on social media. We're at Law MacArthur on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. We also do have a Lincoln-specific Facebook page. It's at Law MacArthur Lincoln if you want to find it as well. And here's my Linktree account. If you want to connect with me on different social media sites that I'm on, um, you can check that out. And uh, there's the links to those if you want to uh, connect with me personally. So, again, thank you for watching this video. Hope you liked it. And don't forget, uh, until the next video, stay positive, be kind to each other, and be kind to yourself. And we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.